The Canon 65mm f0.75 is a rare super fast lens that was designed for X-ray machines, and it's one of the fastest lens ever made. X-ray lenses generally come with neither a shutter nor an aperture iris. If you ask me why I didn't make a longer film, I will be honest with you. Using this lens is a nightmare. It's a massive lens. It's hard to focus, impossible to carry around, and not a discreet option to shoot outside. Hand-holding is not an option for video work, so I had to find a way to fix it on a tripod in a non-destructive way using gaffer tape and pressure to keep it firmly in place. To get infinity, I had to modify the lens by removing the rear part that was made to reduce the size of the X-ray image in direct contact with a tiny medical camera sensor. Once this part was removed, I got a full frame coverage. Now I can focus on infinity. The lens back is so huge, I didn't find a way to connect it to a camera. So I designed my own solution. If I can't move the lens to focus, then I will move the camera. The camera is fixed on small rig rails. To protect the sensor from the dust, a glass adapter is placed inside the camera mount. Lastly, to avoid any light leaks, a black cloth is placed between the camera and the lens. At f0.75, this lens is a low-light champion, so I only used some candles and two tiny LED lights to light the scene. Loom cubes can be controlled with your smartphone and can be placed in small spaces. I placed one in the pot and used a micro-fogger machine to add some magic smoke. and I used another one here to illuminate the smoke from behind. Next, we will see if it's possible to do portrait photography with this lens. But first, if you like this kind of weird lens experiment, please like this video, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. If you want to see more behind the scenes and mini tutorials, please follow me on Instagram. Lastly, you can join the channel and help me create more content by supporting my work. Once you become a member of the channel, I will let you know every month what will be the next lenses I will review, so it will give you time to buy them while they are still cheap. <laughs> Using this lens for portrait photography is a challenge and getting a sharp result is almost impossible when the subject is moving even a little. The depth of field is so incredibly shallow that nailing the focus on the eyes is extremely difficult. You need to be really good at manual focusing and have a patient model. It seems that the sweet spot for getting a sharp face is around 2 meters away from the model. The time it takes to set up the camera and the lens will turn any photographer away from shooting portraits like this. But look at those massive bokebles. It's not a style of picture you see every day. In a studio, on a tripod, it becomes easier to get a clean, sharp image. But because of the ultra-thin depth of field, close-ups are very blurry. I think this lens is better for dreamy sequences in a dark environment than for a daylight shoot. It's the fastest and the most unusual lens I have in my collection. I will review more extremely weird lenses on the channel, so if you are into crazy experiments, subscribe and see you really soon.